in the south of Wales lies Caerphilly Castle, built in the 13th century by Gilbert de Clare. Upon its construction, Gilbert ensured it was surrounded by water as an added layer of defence. He saw the importance of water defences in 1266 during the prolonged siege at Kenilworth Castle in Warwickshire, England. Caerphilly Castle's construction occurred during a time of constant war and struggle for control of Wales and titles of nobility on both sides of the border. Its architecture began a period of concentric castles associated with Edward I. The castle, which is actually the largest in Wales, is home to a restless spirit. Our story begins with Alice de la Marche of France. She was the niece of Henry II and later the wife of Earl Gilbert de Clare. Alice was a lady who, while having refined tastes, also had a passionate and wild side. Her nature, which was contrasted with that of her husband, caused considerable friction between the two, and she is quoted as saying, I have come to resent my husband's warring disposition. On one occasion, a visitor to the castle, a young man named Griffith the Fair, who was also Prince of Brither, immediately caught Alice's attention and she quickly became infatuated with the handsome, well-spoken prince. Before long, the two became lovers. Tragically for the secret couple, Griffith, unable to handle his guilt, confessed the relationship to a monk. This monk was loyal to the Clare and quickly informed the lord and husband. De Clare flew into a rage and immediately sent his wife back to France and then ordered his soldiers to hunt down Griffith. The prince, who soon found out that he was a wanted man, turned his anger to the man of the cloth that had broken his trust. Waiting for his opportunity, he sprang his trap, beating the man and eventually hanging him from a tree. However, fate is not without a sense of irony, and not long after Griffith had murdered the clergyman, Lord de Clare's soldiers caught up with him and enacted the same punishment upon Alice's lover, hanging him from a tree. Days later, a messenger was sent to inform Alice of her lover's cruel death at the hands of her husband's troops. Unable to take the fact that she had helped to cause a lover's death, she dropped dead. Now, although she died in France, it is said that her ghost returned to Carefilly Castle to hunt along its ramparts. The ghost of Alice is said to appear dressed in green, this colour being representative of her husband's envy, and she wanders the halls in silent solitude. Some suggest that she is stuck in purgatory for her sins, Others say she is wanting to meet once again with her murdered lover Griffith, and still more say she is still in shock, even after all these centuries. Another curious account is that of her ability to turn to ivy. Some have said that if you approach the ivy on the castle wall, part of it will reach out and touch your hand, and then before you can understand what is happening, disappear just as quickly. Carefully has its fair share of supernatural events and beings. It is also said to be haunted by Shinny, a spirit-type creature that poses as a pathetic old woman begging for help from passers-by. However, she has another form, that of a voluptuous young maiden, summoning men to ungodly delights. When you stop, she strikes. Where the lane forms a stream is where she allegedly washes the heads of her victims. In the Welsh language there is an expression for when someone wants to be rude about a woman. It is, she's so ugly, she's the ribbon witch. Alice de la Marche of Caerphilly Castle has a partner in sorrow. The hideous Gurachi Riven is said to be a harbinger of doom. With unkempt hair, wizened arms and leathery wings, she flaps her wings outside the window of a person close to death, calling them by name. 
as the castle has been vacant now for several centuries, it is said that she is lonely. Some witnesses have talked about hearing a shrill voice exclaiming, Find plentin, find plentin, my child, my child! Are you ready to meet the strange beings of Carefilly? Well, they are ready for you. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel for more spooky videos?